Yo, what's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. This time I'm going to teach you about armor stands. Drowning in the Hennessy, it feel like I'm dreaming. They say liquor bad for me, they say I don't need it. But I'm going to drink the whole filth this evening. I'm going to drink the whole filth this evening. Sometimes I look cold. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to teach you about armor stands and, uh, you know, the methods that can be used with them and stuff like that. So, alright, so I got it loaded, so let me enable auto import and everything. Let's just get rid of this. We don't really need that because, you know, why not? And so let's open this up see what we got here. Oops, not that one. All right, so we got a main Java and then the main, main uh, class here. And so let's make it so we can have a command here. So we're going to use a command to test out our armor stand plugin. So we'll just go ahead and create a new class instead of putting it inside of a package. You know, let's keep it simple. So let's go ahead and give it a name. We'll just call it armor stand command. All right. And of course, you know already, hopefully, if you watch the other episodes, we need to implement command executor. And that will allow us to bring up this little method here that allows us to, um, you know, do commands. Okay, and then we need to register the command. Get command. We'll call it armor stand. Because, you know, we are working on armor stand, so. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Alright, cool. So now they have that made, so let's go ahead and start coding. So the first thing we want to do just to you know start things is make sure it's instance of player. Alright, and so now if we want to make an armor stand, let's import that. If we want to make an armor stand, you have to understand that armor stands are also entities, which is something I went over last episode if you didn't check it out. Um, make sure you do that. But yeah, they're entities, so we can create one we can create one by doing the same thing we did last time. So let's try doing that. We can uh, let's make a reference to player. So we'll use player to make the entity, just like this. Okay, so let's make our entity here. So player dot get world dot spawn entity location would be player dot get world or get location I mean, and then entity type will be our armor stand, armor stand just like that. Okay, and so now that little piece of code here just um, was able to spawn an armor stand whenever they type the slash armor stand command. Okay, so pretty simple stuff here as you can see. But what if we want to add stuff upon this, you know, change the, the you know, like use methods on this armor stand entity, right? So what we're going to uh, need to do here is get a reference to the entity, um, the objects, right? So we can do that by making an entity um, object. So entity, we'll call, it enti we'll call it armor stand is equal to that. So uh, let's import this if it'll just pop up there we go so now we imported it but actually you don't want to do this let me show you why we I mean you can do this if you want to you can use um, the entity object here to make your armor stand entity but if we do armor stand dot and then we have all these methods here right you know the simple methods that we went over last time we're not going to be able to change any of the methods that are associated with the armor stand okay because armor stands actually have specific special methods that are only for armor stands so what we really want to do is make an armor stand object because an armor stand is a type of entity, but it's special, so it has its own little methods. So the thing is, it's not going to harm your program by changing it to uh, armor stand instead of entity object, because um, all armor stands are entities, right? So it's going to have the same uh, methods that it would have before, okay? So we're good to go. So we can do armor stand, and then we have a bunch of new methods now here, too. So we have uh, set item in hand, set head pose and a bunch of stuff that we can do to the, our um, armor stand that we can do with a regular entity, okay? So that's going to be pretty cool. So just to start it off, let's try setting the helmet for it if we want to. So we can set like, um, we can set any item to be the helmet of the uh, uh, the armor stand. So that's pretty cool, right? So it's going to be an item stack. So what we want to do here, since we already, we don't have an item stack made, we can create an armor stand object out here, but let's just do it as a, inside of the parameter, okay? So we can do new uh, item stack just like this, and now we can provide a material. And as you know, a material is going to be the object, I mean, the uh, the item that goes in the, um, as the head, or as the helmet in this case, because we're setting the helmet of the armor stand, right? So let's do something random. We'll just do jungle planks, something simple like that. So that will basically make an armor stand when we type slash armor stand, as you can see here. And then, wait, did I change something? Yeah, oops. And then um, what it's going to do is spawn that armor stand. And then it's going to set it to have a helmet of jungle planks, whatever that may, might be. I think it's just plank to wood, you know, jungle wood, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's a random block. But anyway, so what, what we want to do just before we test this out is register it inside of our uh, plugins.yml. 
So commands, armor stand, description, spawn, and armor stand. All right, pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do here is load everything, compile the plugin, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm in the server now, as you can see here. So let's test the plugin out. So we'll do slash armor stand, and we spawn something here in our player location, and we get a armor stand with a jungle block on its head, like we told it to, right? So that's pretty cool, right? And it's gonna spawn the uh, the armor stand wherever we're standing, because whenever we, um, you know. Uh, choose the location of it. We're just getting the player dot get location, so I was gonna put it exactly where I'm looking and standing. So that's just something. But also, but yeah, look, we did it. It's perfectly awesome, and uh, yeah, perfectly awesome. I don't know why I said that, but anyway. So we can break them if you want to. So, but if we don't want them to break, we could you know set them not to break. We could actually do armor stand dot set invulnerable, and that will make it uh, pretty much like god mode basically. And so yeah, that's one thing you can do. You could also change anything you want. Pretty much a lot of stuff. You can make it glow, like before. We can make them glow. That's pretty cool. Armor stand. Dot. We can set the item in the player's hand, or the I mean in the uh, armor stand's hand. So material dot um, diamond axe. That's something. Give them that. So that's pretty cool. So let's try that out. All right. So let's do slash armor stand, and boom, we get our armor stand. It's glowing now. And it's, oh, I guess it's not invulnerable for some reason. And that's interesting. But anyway, so let's put it here. And it's glowing, but it has an axe in its hand like we told it to. But for some reason, it doesn't have arms, right? So how do we get the arms to show up like a normal armor stand might have sometimes? Well, we can do that with the simple method. Like, there's methods for everything, pretty much. Like, a lot of stuff. So if we want to give it arms, we could do armor stand dot uh, set arms equal to true. So that's going to give it arms. So let's go ahead and reload and I'll show you. Okay, so as you can see here, our armor stand now has arms. So he's not holding a, a, an axe with, you know, invisible arms. Now he has his own arms. And so, I mean, yeah, that's how you do that. But yeah, as you can see here, there's a bunch of methods that you can call upon armor stand objects to make them have certain things, do certain things, look a certain way. I mean, there's a bunch of things you can do to it, right? But it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. I mean, I don't need to make a video on everything, all, this, all the methods that you can use, right? So the important thing I really want to show you is um, the poses, okay? So you can set your armor stands to have certain poses um, in which they, uh, let me show you. For example, if we want this, like if you want his leg to stick out for some reason, we could actually do that. We can set where the arms go, the body goes, the head is pointed. We could set the rotation of all of those things, okay? And these are called poses. So there's methods for setting the pose for every pretty much part of the um of the armor stand we could set pose for any part so if we do set pose we can see that there's different pose methods here so we can set the right leg left arm left leg left arm and then the body and then the head so all, those are all the different poses we want and so let's just set um, one of the poses here okay so let's set the the body okay and so whenever you're working with the pose it's going to take a um, I think it's called an Euler angle that's how you pronounce it I say Euler I mean it looks like Euler to me as a simple American that's how I pronounce it but he's French, and I guess you might pronounce it Euler. I don't know. So anyway, it's a type of angle that you might use in physics or aerodynamics, and like engineering and stuff like that. Okay, but um, yeah, it's really cool. So you want to make a new. Um, I'm gonna just call it Euler. I know the pronunciation not be right, might not be right, but I'm gonna just call it that. So new Euler angle, and then inside of here, you're gonna want an X Y Z. Okay, and so your X Y Z is gonna be your um, your degrees in radians. Well, not it wouldn't be degrees then, but the amount in radians of which, um, how much you want to move, um, the angle. Okay, so you're gonna have X, Y, Z angles. They're ha like how much you want the rotation to be. Okay, so it's gonna be in radians, and I don't, I don't know much about radians to be honest. I like working with degrees, so you can work with radians if you want to. But I'm gonna work with degrees. So if you want to work with degrees and then have it automatically converted to radians, you could simply do math dot. Uh, two radians and then you could just put a degree in there for um, degree ra uh, value in there okay so so we're gonna need one for each of these so I'm gonna just create uh, three of them so just like this all right okay so we have three um, you know parameters here X Y Z and so the first one we could set to zero zero and then the third one zero and so what that's going to do is just leave it how it would be normally if we're setting the body pose um, that would be this one here let me go to one of these uh, things so the body would be this middle part here these two little blocks of wood are here so that would be the body 
And so if it's zero, 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 that means it's just going to remain where it is. It's going to remain stationary because we haven't changed the, the, the rotation of, you know, our angle here, okay? Our body pose. So to be able to effectively do this, you need to understand what the X, Y, Z correspond to. And it's a little hard to explain because I haven't studied Euler angles that much. So there's a cool little website that we can use to actually look at these things. Um, it's right here. I'll put the link in the description for you here. And so if we look at this here, um, this website allows you to set the rotations for each of the um, the body poses, I guess you could say, or whatever. So we could set the left leg, the right leg, everything like that. So let's, re go, let's go and reload to reset it. Um, so that's going to reset it. So yeah, we can set the rotation of the head, the X, Y, Z, so the other angle basically. So we can rotate this, play around with it here. So that's going to be the X. The X basically rotates on the X axis, I guess you could say. That's why it's going like that. And then the Y is going to be rotating on the Y axis, so it's just going to spin basically without actually moving that much. It's going to just spin in a weird way. I don't know how to explain it. And then the Z one is kind of weird. It's basically like the X one, but like sideways, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. So it's going, to, it's going to basically rotate on both the Y and the X at the same time, maybe. I don't know how to explain it, really. But yeah, you don't really need to understand it to be able to use it. You just need to understand um, how to use this, basically this tool if you want to. But you're, you're going to get used to it. I mean, just learn which way the X and the Y and the Z corresponds to, okay? So yeah, you can play around with this. So let's say you want to change the body f to some random angle, right? You can do it by playing around with these things here. And then once you get it right, let's say you want it to be right, uh, right here for some reason. Let's say that's where you want it to be. Now you can go down here and get the three values, okay? And these are going to be the values in degrees. So 131 by 106 by 79. So let's go ahead and put that inside of here. Um, what was it? I actually forgot. So 131 by 106. 131. 106 by 79. Okay. So these are the, the uh, degree values that will be translated to radians for each of the X, Y, Z uh, parameters here for our Euler angle. And so this is going to be the Euler angle for our body pose. That's going to be the pose that our body is set to. All right. So let's try and reloading our plugin here and see if it worked. All right, we're on the server here. Let's reload first. Forgot to do that. So it's reloading, and there we go. So now let's put our armor stand down. Boom. Now let's see what we got. So as you can see here, the um, the body was set to a really weird angle. So let's go and check the website and see if that's how we wanted it. So if we move this to my other screen, we'll pull up the website here. We can see that the, um, well, actually, let me move it over here you can see that the um, basically they are pretty much exactly the same because of course we took the values from here and then plugged them into our program so yeah if you're ever uh, having you know trouble working with the Euler angles if you don't really if you can't really um, conceptualize in your head how to memorize what the XYZ correspond to you could always go to this website here and then play around with the values and then you know take them from down here if you want to okay so that's pretty cool and we could set the head the left leg and every pretty much every body position so let's try that let's set some other positions here so armor stand dot set um, head pose. Okay, and let's make a new Euler angle. And so we want to do this in radians. So we'll convert it. So the first one we want to set. I pretty much want to have the head the head like all the way forward. So like he's looking down straight down. So if I remember correctly, we would do that with the x x um, rotation. So let me try doing this without having to cheat with the website. So I'm going to do 90 degrees. So that means it should rotate on the, the x-axis 90 degrees. So he should go down 90 degrees looking down. If I do that correctly, hopefully. Well, I'll be proud of myself if this is correct. And so I don't want the other ones to be having any value. So I'll just put them as zero. So there we go. So anyway, let's just try testing this out. Hopefully I did it correctly. All right. So let me try putting an arm stand here. Boom. Oh, it falls. Like you could turn off gravity, by the way, like you did with the entities, um, if you want to. But yeah, it looks like it worked. He's looking down, as you can see here. The pattern of the the uh, block here suggests that he's looking down. So I did that correctly. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's just... Uh, so yeah, I was able to figure out the Euler angle correctly. So let's try two more examples, just to show you. I'll do both the arms at the same time. So let's make it so both the arms stick out like that so he's looking down and his arms are like um, an airplane basically okay so let's try doing that so we'll set his arm so armor stand dot set left arm pose new Euler angle and so let's think about this 
let's just go use the let's just use the website so we can get the hang of it. If in case you're wondering how to use the website for some reason, so let's reload here. So if you want to make his angle, uh, his arms stick out, well we need to give him arms. So I'll click show arms by the way. So yeah, let's try messing around with his arms. So left arm. Okay, that's not what we need. So let's try this one. Nope, that's not what we need. Oh, here we go. So that's what we need. So we can actually make it tilt. Let's see here. All right. That would be about 270 degrees. Yeah, exactly 270 degrees. Okay, let's try rotating the right arm too. All right. And so that one would be 90 degrees, okay, because it's rotating in the opposite direction, but this one has to go all the way around. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you do that. So let's set the left arm to have 270 and then the right arm right arm to have 90 degrees, okay? And that would be on the Z angle. So yeah, just remember that, Cody. Um, so let's go back here. So the Z angle, so that means that these first, oh yeah, wait, what am I doing? These first two need to be zero. Okay, and so this is gonna be the left arm, so it's gonna have to be 270, so math dot two radians, uh, 270, okay? Hopefully I did that correctly. So that will set the left arm. Wait, that was the right arm I needed to to be hundred. No, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, and so I want the right arm now. So armor stand dot set right arm. Uh, new Euler angle. Zero zero, and then map dot two radians. Ninety. Okay. So let's try that out. Okie dokie. Let's do armor stand and let's see what happens. Oh, awesome. So yeah, as you can see here, the arms are sticking out perfectly. The body's still at a weird angle, so that's kind of weird looking. But as you can see, it's, he's looking down perfectly, 90 degree angle. And then his arms are sticking out. So that's awesome. Even the axe rotated. So that's pretty cool. As you can see here, we're pretty much masters at rotating, you know, their angles, their rotations. So, you know, now we're pros at this. So hopefully you didn't have any trouble doing this like I did. You could just use that website if you have to and then copy the angles or the degrees that you need to use or you can use radians whatever you want to do if you know how to do that so yeah I mean hopefully you like that um, so we can set pretty much any method here for our armor stand to you know make it have certain I guess properties I guess you call them like you know glowing and vulnerability items in their hands you could set you can give them armor you can give them uh, you know stuff like that okay so um, you can also give them arms and then just just a bunch of stuff as you know right so um, yeah, hopefully you have a better understanding of how this works. Um, if you have any questions about what we did, you could of course ask a question because I know this concept of the Euler angles might be confusing. I know it's probably simple to um, some of you. So yeah, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I have the link in the description for that website so you can learn how to play around with the Euler angles, okay? So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, next episode, I believe, let me check here. Let's see. Next episode, we're gonna be working on GUIs. So that's going to be the user interfaces. So basically we can do like a certain command and it's going to open up a inventory, a custom inventory. That's something we worked with in which the, the user can basically click on items in the inventory and then it'll do certain things. Okay. So it's basically just a menu, right? So we're going to mess around with that next episode, I believe. So if you like that, um, stay tuned and, um, yeah. So if you have any questions about what we did today, ask a question in the comment section. If you need help, ask a question. Um, also, we have a Discord link in the description. If you want to check that out, you could, you know, join our Discord, ask questions, hang out with us, anything you want to do. Make sure you join. So yeah. Um, also, we have a link here, also in the description. So many links here, um, which is gonna, which is going to be all the code from today's episode. In case you need a reference for the future, because I know it's pretty easy to forget stuff in it when it comes to coding sometimes. So sometimes you need a reference. So yeah, make sure you check that out, bookmark it, and all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.